Good morning. We serve a God that taketh away. Ooh, amen. We serveth a God that taketh away. You know, it's in the nature of man, especially fallen man, to want, to always want. To want more, to need more, to want more, to constantly try to accumulate and to have. And as I was praying and meditating this morning during my prayer, the Lord had me pray. Thank you, Father God. for the things that you taketh away. And so I meditated on that. And today I'm here to tell you that, praise God, we do have a God that taketh away. I know that at first doesn't sound like a superpower or something that we may ever need. We may find that to be something very small may even find it assaulting. Our first contemplation may be that he's going to take something we want or that we need. <clears throat> it doesn't come really into power and the focus of power until you truly need something moved out of your life, that you need something fully taken away. I'll share some of my own experiences, but I'm going to share one of the biggest experiences was over the last couple of years when my sister was diagnosed with cancer. And I remember when we started praying, I know that when I started praying, the Lord told me, don't worry, I will take it away. Of course, in our carnality, in this physical being, in this flesh, doubt and fear comes. We must stand against that, but it comes. But even that, the Lord taketh away. Fear, even that, the Lord taketh away. So I got to watch her battle and fight for a year in prayer and supplication and action and tears and torment, shaking, afraid. Today, I can, with confidence, all the confidence of heaven, even with physical tangible proof can say God took it away she is cancer free <coughs> in my life whenever Christ found me I was an utter wreck I was lost in the torment of substance abuse and self-mutilation a long suicide as I cried out and pleaded it took a long time I'm here to say today though oh God took it away God taketh away addiction pain torment fear lies Backbiting, sickness, divorce, wrong standing. The Lord taketh away. <coughs> a heart that does not want to serve, a self seeking heart. The Lord taketh away. 
pride, arrogance, ego, a want to do for self, selfishness. The Lord take it away. You know, for many, many years, I have sat there and thanked God and praised Him for the things that He giveth us. But today I ask that as you go through the day that you just take some time to reflect, to give credence and honor and glory in the fact that He, for us, taketh away those things that are not of Him that bring His creation pain and torment and agony. He taketh away Our God taketh away. I find that to be an awesome blessing today. That if we are found in a space where there is no other answer. If we are found somewhere. Or with something. Or in something. That is not of God. Or that there is something not of God found in us or around us. Know that God taketh away. God taketh away that thing that is not of him and cast it into the fire and purge it and cleanse it. For he shall cleanse it of all impurities. And it is not you, for you are his. You are that cleansed thing redeemed by the fire purged and pushed and pure gold all iniquity taken away he held that on the cross our God taketh away <coughs> He taketh away the thing, the stumbling block you place before him. Lord, take that away today. The Lord took away the wrath that he was going to dispensate on us because his son interceded and pled with us, pled with him for us God created this for this moment so that he could take away the judgment that each of us deserve and he laid it on his son our condemnation our iniquity, our sin, God taketh away. know that today that we do not just serve a God that gives you know what a mighty act it is to give especially whenever the gifts that are given are coming from the holy hand of God but in likewise fashion know that the action of the Lord taking it is just as vital and powerful and needed. Today, we give him praise for the awesome ability to take away He can take away your regret. He can take away 
your anxiety. He can take away that resentment of the past and those that hurt you. He can take away that feeling of isolation. He can take away that brutal assault. He can cleanse you and make you new today. He can take away all the uncleanliness, all of the ugliness. He can take it away. He can take away the pain. He can take away the torment and the hurt. Our God is a God that takes away. He taketh it away and he cast it in that fire. His all-consuming fire it is gone. He taketh away. Our God is a God that when he takes something away, he leaves no deficiency. For as he takes away fear, a surety is left in its place. Whenever he takes away anxiety, peace is left in its place. Our God is not a God of deficiency. Our God is a God of wholeness, of balance, of purity, truth, love, justice, equality for His people. Our God taketh away the doubt of the unbeliever. Our God takes away the unbelief of the doubter. And He trades that for truth and belief and trust. Our God taketh away. Let those words today resonate in your being. Meditate on them. Know that our God is a God that taketh away. He taketh away those things that are not of Him. He cleanses them and He leaves us with something even greater. Himself. So in determination, with an intent today, serve Him. Serve Him. A true and living God. The one that gives and taketh away. Thank you, Abba. Thank you, Father God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Today, Jesus, we come to you giving you all the honor, glory, and the praise. We thank you for this day. We thank you that you woke us up. You beckoned us out. We thank you for this moment together. We thank you for a moment of clarity. We thank you for a moment of meditation before your face, Father God. We thank you for taking away and cleansing and purging all that is not of you. And thank you for not leaving us with a deficiency, but exchanging that negative for a positive every time. <coughs> Lord Jesus, today... Let us meditate on the fact that you are a God that cleanses and takes away and that you are also a God that will not leave us in a deficiency. Today, Father God, we ask that you guard, guide, protect, and keep us, that you uphold your truth in us and that we become an example and a proof of that truth. We ask today that you set a hedge of protection around our families, that we are protected both from inside and out. And we ask that all the glory and honor and praise be given to you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. Let us be about your business today, not our own. Carpe diem, seize the day. Greatness requires more. I love you, Jesus. Amen. Let's go out there and be about his business today, peeps. In Jesus' name, I love y'all. Enjoy this awesome Tuesday. 
Today I get to go to SeaWorld with my youngest daughter, Zia Mara, in her class, me and Zephaniah and my wife, Kamala. We're going to have a blast. So I hope that y'all's Tuesday is just as well and blessed. Know that um, he is working on your behalf even when you're sleeping. Even in the depths of despair, he is at work for your benefit and for your grace to be shown so that he can be glorified. He does want you to prosper. He wants you to be the best example of you you can be. So I ask for his help getting there. In Jesus' name, amen.